Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. I'm coming to you today with your weekly oracle card reading. It is Monday and um, hopefully this will still have some value for you in the week ahead. Um, also these messages are timeless so you can access these messages whenever you feel drawn to them. Uh, you don't need to watch it uh, you know at the beginning of the week uh, but for those of you who are regular subscribers and are followers I'd like to offer you something on a weekly note just to be able to um, help you work with the energies of the week. Now, I just want to say on that note that uh, the energy really shifts tomorrow and we are coming to the end of a process that we've been working with uh, from the beginning of January. And so I'm shooting on recording this on um, the 17th uh, or 18th of February. I've forgotten for the moment, but I'm recording this around then. And um, there is a full moon um, uh, in the next day and we will have ended we will have come to the end of a certain energy and certain things that we're working on and uh what we've been working on has been fairly um powerful it's been fairly um you know it's been quite impactful and i think that uh it's been quite deep um it's impacted us on a very um deep level for those of you who are in alignment with that energy in any case uh it would impact people differently but i want to come to you today with a really light easy uh, not too deep, not too impactful um, oracle card reading. So let's just look at these messages and what they have to say to us on the surface. And we have three oracle card uh, decks here before us. We have um, the first one, uh, which I think is by uh, Denise Lin. And the second one, which is the Enchanted Map Oracle. And we have the Life is Simple Oracle uh, card decks here. So Please make a choice. This is your number one, two, and three. And go down to the description box below where you'll find uh, the timestamp. And I'm going to go right into the reading. Okay, so I'm going to begin with number one, as always. And um, we're asking the question today, what is it that those of you who've chosen this number, um, the number one deck here, need to know for the week ahead what is it, what is the energies that you will be working with and what is it that you need to keep in mind as you go ahead um, in the week ahead, whether you listen to this um, on Monday or on Tuesday or on Friday, it doesn't really matter, but uh, we are channeling through the energies for, for the week ahead or perhaps the weeks ahead. All right, so let's get into it. Huh. And this is what's come up here for you. And I'm going to go with that because it feels like I should. And we have the card Soaring into Joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. And I want to say that this is really the kind of energy that I'm feeling right now here. I feel that um, we are soaring into joy, that we are actually leaving behind a certain heaviness that we have worked with what it is that we've needed to and we are moving into that which is lighter that which is playful that which reminds us of what it, we were and who we were and what we've come here for and allowing ourselves to flow in this energy and simply just go with it and not not thinking too much uh, yeah not overthinking not uh planning too much not really you know, having it all set out before us, uh, not needing to know where it is that we will go, where it is that we float to and where it is that we land and what p happens thereafter, but rather just simply going with the flow and going with this energy and the lightness that it brings into our lives at this moment. I'm hearing here that um, the hard work and the difficulty is mostly behind us and what uh, still needs to be done will be taken care of in another time and that it is okay to let go of that now and it's okay to just embrace the lightness that fills into your world at this moment and the lightness of being not just the light in terms of the you know a clearer energy but also this lightness which is a lighter energy um yeah the differentiation between light and uh, as in weight and light as in um you know like color um but basically in both ways the it, your your energy is becoming lighter and um 
it's just to go ahead and embrace this and not really uh, be bogged down, not really uh, become too uh, intense and just let it flow out of your life. You know, just it's like a wave um, that's, you know, come to the shore and it's drawing back now. The waters are drawing away again. And uh, just to observe this and to understand it and see it as something that has impacted you and has influenced you. But now that it's retreating, embrace that feeling which it leaves you with and that which is as this water retreats from you. Um, you are left now with uh, a freedom and a kind of energy and it's as if the energy has been reset and you're starting off again and it's about you, you know, where is it or how is it that you can go ahead at this moment and uh, what is it that you can bring into your life at this moment and uh, and kind of, you know, not really needing to know where it is that you are going immediately or the details of where it is that you're going to, but rather simply feeling what it is that you need to feel in order to go on to the next step. Um, just allowing yourself to feel other emotions you know, because this energy that we've had or that you've had uh, at this moment would have actually brought um, a lot of newness into your life uh, or the potential for newness. And if you're not feeling that, then ask yourself, how can I introduce something new into my life? What is new that I could introduce to my life? And how is it that we could go forward from here? Not You don't need to know the details once again, but simply what is the energy that we need to move forward with at this moment? And the energy that uh, I'm hearing here and I'm seeing actually here is soaring into joy. It's about allowing yourself to delve into that lightness. You know, stop feeling like you need to repair something. You need to fix something. You need to heal something. But actually just feel what it's like to just simply be. And that's the message that I have for you, for those of you who've chosen uh, this particular deck here, the first number. And um, yeah, thank you for coming by. And I hope that resonates with you. And uh I'm wishing you a wonderful week ahead. So moving on to the second deck here. Um, once again, we are asking for those of you who've chosen this particular deck, what is it that you need to know? What is it that you need to keep in mind uh, in this week ahead or these weeks ahead? And uh, yeah, what is it that's relevant to you right now? Okay, this feels right to me. Hmm. And uh, the card we have is number 30 from the Enchanted Map Oracle, and it's making a choice. So, uh, yeah, the card is making a choice, and I want to say that this kind of follows on, it feels to me like it follows on from the first uh, of these cards. And very often when I do these Oracle card readings, uh, it feels to me like... Uh, their story, you know, the first, the second, and the third. So for those of you who feel inclined to watch all of them, please just go ahead, um, if you feel inclined, that is, and but you don't need to. Um, yeah, so basically, it's about making a choice. And I feel that the way in which it relates to the card that we had previously is that you need to make a choice with uh, what it is that, yeah, the path that you'll choose. So it's like this energy, once again, that we're coming from. The energy that we're coming from is, a, is quite a heavy energy and something that, you know, you might be, even if you're not watching this at the time at which I've uploaded it, you might have come from a period in your life which has been quite intense and quite hard. Uh, but the message here is that you can move away from it. And, you know, what is the choice that you're going to be making? Are you going to choose to stay in this? Or are you going to choose to move away from it? And sometimes it's not so easy to move away from something. Uh, but the message that, and you know, you need to stay in it. You need to stay in it to work with it, to be able to shift it. But what I'm hearing here is that you have the option now to shift from it. You have the option now to move away from this. And it simply requires a choice that you need to make. You need to make a choice at this juncture to be able to move away from this. Because this is not going to happen happen so naturally with you this is something that is you know you if you're going to be um working your way towards the light 
or the lightness in your life uh, or the joy, just the, the, the lighter energy. This has to be a choice that you have to make. It's not going to simply be dropped into your lap. And you, at this point, have the choice of being able to decide, am I going to work here a little longer? Am I going to delve deeper into these energies which take me into myself and require healing and require introspection, require reflection and require um, some kind of movement or change within my life? Or am I simply going to make a choice to walk into the light and simply let go and simply let let God? You know, that's what I'm hearing. It's, uh, it's actually about letting go and letting the universe take charge for you and i feel that you have the choice of working on it on yourself and um it's a drudgery you know it feels like it's really hard work it feels like it's it's something that you you really have to push through and you know i see a person who's kind of pulling a cart uh that should be drawn by horses but by but you know the person is the horse and the person is the one who's having to pull this cart and what I'm hearing here is that you have the you have the possibility at this moment to say, okay, I'm just going to leave this behind. And yes, I have pulled this cart so far. And yes, it does seem like a royal waste of time if I have to just leave this cart here and just hop and skip away. But uh, I have the option of being able to do that. So is it okay for me? Can I give myself the permission to simply let go of what it is that I've been working on here, even if the work feels incomplete? And make a choice towards something else that's easier in your life, that's somehow a lighter load, or that is no load at all. Um, because as I said, you know, I'm seeing this person that's hopping and skipping away, and simply joyous, simply happy to be. And it's like this huge realization that this person's come to, that they don't need to be working through this heaviness, that they don't need to be actually working in this space, but actually that they can really choose happiness in this moment and they can choose to cultivate that, not to say that all the problems or all the thing, the, the business is unfinished, that it's, you know, not to say that it's, uh, sorry, not to say that the business is finished, but it is okay to let it be unfinished, to let it be, be as it is and to accept it and to see what comes if you don't make a move, if you are not using your energy and your time and your effort to basically um, mold things in the way that you think would be better, but rather to just let go at this moment and let and see what happens. Um, but, you know, we're letting go knowing that it will be taken care of and it is actually okay to let some other type of energy come in here and to influence you and to influence your life and those around you um, in a way that one can actually trust in the divine. So simply, once again, I keep hearing this, to let go and let God, and uh, whatever your perception of God may be. And I think what 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 I mean from, for, as far as God is concerned, is to trust and to let it be, let it allow it to be, um, and trust that you will be okay in it. And even if the evidence points to that you will not be okay in it, just allow it to, to be for a moment and see what happens thereafter. Because when you do that, you're not holding so tightly to this energy and you will be able to kind of let go of that and you invite a newness in, you invite a lightness in. Uh, it's like you're holding really tightly to something and there's this tension in that uh, because you're holding tightly. And so, so kind of loosening your grip allows another energy into whatever it is that you're holding so tightly onto. And uh, yeah, I think, I mean, ultimately, uh, it is about making a choice. It is about having to choose uh, something that's before you. Oh, are you choosing your freedom? Are you choosing your happiness? Or are you actually choosing that which is your burden? Or that is what, what is your responsibility? That is not to say that you should stop being responsible in the situation. But where is it that you feel that you need to be right and you need to do what's right? Uh, and at that point at which you are forsaking simply being happy and light and hopping and skipping and jumping away. Okay, so that is your message for those of you who've chosen uh, the second deck here, which is your Enchanted Map Oracle. And I'm going to go ahead to the third option, uh, which is the uh, Life is Simple Oracle Card deck by Sonia Choquette. 
and we are asking what is it that we need to know for this week ahead what is it that is relevant to us at this moment and uh, what is it that we need to keep in mind as we go ahead in the weeks uh, in the in this upcoming week as well as in the weeks ahead I'm not really feeling the energy that's supposed to come through so I'm just going to ask again what is it that the, those of you who've chosen the number three need to hear um, the third deck what is it that those of you who've chosen this need to hear in this upcoming week what is the message that's relevant to these folks who've chosen the number three okay that's it So we have the number 44 and we have stick with it and uh, okay so you know as I said at the beginning of this reading that I want to just give you some easy light messages this week in accordance with what has been um, yeah with in accordance with the energy for, for at the moment and what I'm seeing here is, is a very obvious message stick with it and you know, we're seeing a person who has a way, a bit of a way to go here. And um, it seems like they haven't gone very far, So, but they should stick with it and they should go along. And unlike the message that we had before this, was, which was to make a choice and to choose a, a different option, what we, are, what we do have here is that, you know, don't take the option of leaving, stick with it. And what I'm feeling here is that, um, well, the first thing that came to mind, let me just tell you that first, is that you can stick with it. And it doesn't mean that you can't, you don't need to feel the energies of this and you don't need to actually take in what's going on around you. Um, but it's actually like, you know, like you don't, you don't need to think that because you have to stick with it, that it's going to be hard. You don't need to commit yourself to it being hard because you need to stick with it. You know, you can separate that. And I feel that where you come from, you know, it's like um, the it's been cloudy, right? But now that you are, you know, now you have the chance of being able to stay with what you're doing, but the clouds are going to part and it's going to be a more positive experience. Uh, I'm getting quite a few messages here, but one of the messages I'm getting is that this is related to somebody with regard to their work environment. If you've been thinking of leaving your job um, and, you know, you've been thinking of just letting go just hang on, hang on, uh, this energy is going to shift and you're going to feel something else in a week from now or in, a, in two weeks from now. But you don't need to run away from what it is that you're doing right now. Just stay with it. I would say stay with it another three weeks or so and then you'll see that it, it's completely different. The other thing I'm getting here is that um, this person has been, they may have been with it, right? You have, may have been with this energy for quite some time well not for quite some time but you might have been mulling it over in your mind for quite some time before you actually began working with it and you are tired as a result of having it in your mind having to worry about it and wondering what it is that you need to do or how it will go or how it will pan out whether you'll be okay along this journey and what I'm hearing is that you spend so much of time like in your mind that now that you've begun with it it actually feels like you're tired already and that you need to actually rejuvenate yourself and I, I'm hearing the idea yeah, that yes you need to stick with it yes you need to stay with it but you don't need to continue with it in the same energy that you've been uh, going along with until now you could actually just make a decision to approach this in a different way but and to stick with it and to stay with it and to to prove to yourself that you have the staying power in this in this situation because I'm hearing here that if you do stick with it and that if you do stay with on the course that you've chosen 
it has much more to do with what you would have proven to yourself than what it has to do with uh, with what uh, the impact that it will have with others or uh, how it will uh, play out in your work environment or in a love situation or in a family situation or with regard to your house you know it's 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 not about that it's not about the end result or um, in terms of in the material sense of the word but how you will feel as a result with, of having stuck with it and you know the obvious thing is to say okay well you'll feel successful you'll feel well that you've you've had the staying power the stamina but I'm feeling that it's not going to be like that you know you're gonna you're gonna find that there's another jewel that waits that awaits you uh, it's like I'm seeing this this rainbow in this pot of gold you know the, there's a there's a pot of gold that awaits you at the end of the rainbow and if you can look at this you know, this path that's ahead of you now that you still have to go. And instead of looking at it as, you know, you having to climb this and it's going to be tricky and you don't really have a proper grip and the angle at which it's going is going to be uh, quite hard to for you to traverse. But if you, in fact, you, you think, okay, I'm going to see this as a rainbow. I'm going to, um, I'm going to make a point of, um, changing my perspective you know not seeing this for what it is but I'm going to maybe lie to myself or maybe see it as as a as the rainbow that I'm traversing here and at the end of it is my pot of gold I don't know what that pot of gold it really is but it there is gift for me that lies there and if you look at it you don't do it for the, the gift but you do it because it's enjoyable to ride this to ride this rainbow so to say it's almost, almost as if this you need to like tell yourself something else about this and until now you've been seeing this in a very difficult very uh treacherous tre uh, excuse me treacherous light but here it's as if you need to stop seeing it in that way and i know it looks like the clouds are coming in here but in fact it's more like the other way it's like these clouds are disappearing and the blue skies are coming into being and with that you you have the option of being able to look at this in a slightly different perspective like uh looking at it uh, in a new way uh, it's not as difficult as you think it's going to be and it's not as expensive as you think it's going to be says uh, one of the guides for one of you or two of you out there you can make this change uh, but right now just stick with it and a little bit later on you'll find that you will be able to go forth and make that change um, now is not the right time for this particular change that you are contemplating now is not the time for to give up now is not the time to um actually run away because it's it's frightful it's scary uh because it's such hard work because it exhausts you now is the time to buckle down motivate yourself to see this in a different way and go ahead with that and with it you will find that there are some rewards at the end of it rewards not that you expect but rather rewards that um have a different bearing in your life it's not something that you it surprises you and it surprises you in a really good way and I think that's all that I have uh, to give you here. Um, I'm also looking, I'm also hearing that don't look at how far you've come. Uh, don't look at how far you've come because that might also be a bit scary for you. You know, contain your fear, contain your uh, apprehension and, and simply, you know, secure yourself and, you know, put on your rose colored glasses in this instance and just work yourself to the end of this and uh once again it will there will be rewards at the end of this and so that is what i'm hearing for those of you here and i feel the rewards will have uh, um, great financial implications for you so um so that is one incentive you know i think uh for i don't know how it applies to you all but um yeah i'm hearing there, there are financial implications for this like it would make you better off it'll make you um you will have received some perhaps financial rewards for this ultimately it might not be clear right now that this would be the case and it might not be that you know as soon as you finish this that you you are rewarded with a large sum of money or something like this but in the long term you will um actually it will benefit you uh and you will in fact uh, receive uh greater rewards uh also financial great a greater financial rewards okay so that is my message for those of you who've chosen this one here and i hope this has been useful for you and i hope that it resonates let me know uh, if it does and uh, let me know how you're all doing and i hope that you are 
you're doing fine and that you're enjoying your week and um, yeah that all's well with all of you I wish you an infinite amount of blessings and um, may you all go well and be safe and be loved blessings abound from Kismet Rising